everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ali I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe so today I wanted to share a few bangle designs that I designed using my troll beads uh, beads and the first one that I have that I wanted to share is using the Rose of June so I am trying to collect um, all of the flowers of the month and I have I think I have nine so far so uh, a few more to go and I should be done with that collection. So um, whichever months I have, I've been designing a new bangle design uh, on the first of each month using that particular flower of the month. And so for June, this is the design I came up with. I do have it on the star bangle and uh, I do have the plain uh, silver spacers on here. On either side, I have the white pearl, and then this one is the um, roses for mom bead. I love the uh, the pink, yellow, and orange roses in it. Then uh, there is the rose of June, and I love the hidden pearl in here, and that's why I put these pearls on either side just to. Um, kind of accentuate that uh, little pearl in the Rose of June bead. And then this one over here is a faceted unique that I picked up from Troll Beads Partridge Creek at an event they had recently. And I love the pale pink background with the orange flowers. And I thought the orange flowers here on this bead complement the orange flowers in the Roses for Mom bead. And so yeah, so that's the design I came up with for June using the Rose of June bead. The next one I have is on the heart bangle. And um, on this one, the inspiration was this beautiful fantasy elf pendant or bead. I think it's a pendant. I think that's what they call it. But he's just so majestic. I love his casual posture with his arms folded and resting on his knees, his serene expression. And I love the details on his feet, like he's kind of maybe sitting on a tree branch or something, kind of swinging his legs. And um, yeah, that's, that's the vibe that this one gives me. I love the little wings on its back. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful bead. I love wearing it on my fantasy necklace and also on my bangles. And then the spacers I have on here are actually not troll beads. I do need to get some more troll beads plain spacers because they work well with so many designs. I just have that one pair that are on that bangle design. The rest of the spacers that I have from troll beads are decorative, so or or they're copper. So I do need to get more of the silver spacers. But anyways, I'm digressing. Um, so I have that as the centerpiece. Now, starting on this side, I have this gemstone. This is the Feldspar Moonstone, and it is such a beautiful gemstone. Look at that sparkle that's in there. I do love the darker specks of almost orange in there as well. Then this glass bead, um, this was part of the latest uh, bracelet set that Troll Beads came out with. I think the bracelet set is called Time to Fly. And this glass bead is called Wings of Freedom. And it does really look like a feather with all these beautiful colors in it. The oranges, the greens, white, black. Um, there's also a hint of blue here. So yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful glass bead. Then I have the Fantasy Elf. Next to that, I have another gemstone. And this one is, a, is not faceted and it it has that barrel shape to it and this one is a yellow jade again you can see some sparkle in it but it's mostly quite milky looking and yeah this one i bought from troll beads texas a while back um i think it was uh at another event that they had a few years ago a couple of years ago i believe um, but yeah, they also, Troll Beads also had a green jade, but um, I have not found that one yet. This one the store had, but they didn't have the green jade at that point. And so, yeah, that's another one that's on my wish list to get. And then the last bead on here is this glass bead. It is faceted and this one is called 
Flowers from the Heart. Now this one I think released sometime last year and when they released it, it was called something else. Now I don't remember what it was called, but they did recently change the name. And this one has this beautiful pink base, goes really well with the Feldspar Moonstone. And on top of that, you have these beautiful yellow flowers that look like daffodils to me with their orange centers. And so, yeah, that's the second uh, bangle design. I really love this one, especially with spring here. Um, it's just so beautiful. I love the pinks and the oranges and the yellows together. And the last bangle design that I wanted to share is very summery. And again, it is on the star bangle. Um, on this side, I have this beautiful round red onyx bead um, and it is uh, inside, nestled inside this framed by buds bead. This was a gift from my dear friend Linda and I really love how this looks. It almost looks like an octopus tentacle in this particular design just because I have it next to this turtle bead which is one of the new beads that Troll Beads released for this summer. And this one is called uh, Long Life Bead. And I love this bead. The turtle is just so cute. It does have this citrine gemstone on its back. And I love that look. Look how beautiful it looks. And you can see the bangle kind of magnified and reflected back through the gemstone. And I really like that look on it. Um, because it just looks like those um, designs on a turtle's um, shell and so yeah this is such a pretty pretty bead next to that i have this glass bead i think this one is retired and this one is called um uh flying thoughts that's what it's called it has this yellowish green base and then on top of that you have these um flowers almost uh kind of flying in the wind as the name says and the petals on it are orange and yellow and then this one is an opaque glass bead this is called positive petunia this is another one of those that changed names and now i can't remember what it was called previously but this one has an orange base and then it has these white and brown Kind of seed like things kind of drifting in the wind almost it seems like and so yeah a very summer inspired design and this one just reminds me of seaweed floating in the sea and this one um, just reminds me of sea urchins for some reason and that's why i use these beads on this particular design and so, yeah, guys, these are a few of my designs that I've been enjoying the past couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.